All right, uh, we're going to take a look at uh, the ServiceNow Z Learning application. And it's set up over here on the uh, application called Learning Management. And it's broken into three separate uh, roles. Uh, we have the administrator role, they have access to everything, and they can create questionnaires. We have managers that get to manage only their questionnaires that they are a manager of and any of the exams that were generated from the questionnaires using the create exam and they have the uh, exams that they were assigned to so any exams that you were uh, assigned to will show up here and you can create a, uh, a request individually as an end user or you can have the managers generate them uh, for users or members of groups we also have a system here for uh, ServiceNow's dynamic creation where we can uh, assign a task table looking for anyone who was assigned to the task that fits a specific condition let's say the category was software and priority let's say was one and your um, incident management team uh, wants to uh, make sure that critical software incidences are handled correctly, they can set up, set up a quiz where you can uh, send out a, a questionnaire for them to uh, fill out. And so it's just a way to be proactive and uh, quiz the users so that they can have feedback for you know, how well they're doing in their job for these particular cases. Let's go ahead and uh, generate a uh, questionnaire. I'm going to open up an existing one. And we're going to open up uh, the ServiceNow platform overview. And we have options in here where we can randomize uh, these 10 questions that I built in here and only randomize five of them. We can also randomize the answers within each question. We're going to uh, generate for myself. We'll add system administrator and see if I can take this exam. It's going to check to see if I have any exams out there already. And I do. I've already got one. I haven't I have not completed it. So let's take a look. It'll be it'll be here in this list. We'll filter on system administrator interactive there it is I haven't taken it I failed a whole bunch of times the interactive version of it not the exam version so let's open up the interactive version I actually did start it today so I won't be able to uh, make any changes to it so I can only complete it and I'm sure I will fail yep I got a 33 and oh by the way uh, they removed some of my skills why because the questionnaire has some skills associated with it, skills that will be learned, desktop and ERP, and if I was to fail the exam, these are set to true. You can turn that off and have these skills uh, remain in your profile if you happen to fail this exam. It's up to you, the manager of this questionnaire. But now that I've failed it, let's go ahead and generate another exam and I don't have the prerequisites so I need to have passed the V2 version of this exam so nothing was created I did pass the maps and diagrams so I do need to go out there and at least pass that one so let's open up that exam the V2 version right there let's see if there's any prerequisites for that none and just the ERP so let's set this to System Administrator, we'll execute that. There we go. So now I can generate this exam and I can start it. So as an example of the first question, and I can skip uh, next and previous. Um, end users won't see the delete button on an administrator, so I see that. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, make a guess. I'm not going to be very specific about which ones I pick here. I'm just going to grab a whole bunch at random just to show you as you go next. It saves the choice. 
um, if you make a different choice, it deselects the option. It's very radio button like. Um, I know this answer is true is green. Display. We'll finish this exam real fast here for you. Three more questions. You see a little timer up in here telling me I have uh, I had ten minutes to take the exam. What's nice is if I go done before I finish my exam, I can see which questions I have not answered. So if I want to, I can go in and go right to that question directly, answer that, click done, go back to the to the exam header. And let's answer, let's not answer this last question and let's try to complete the exam. Won't let me um, because I still have time left and I didn't finish this last question. So it's being nice, it's letting me, uh, reminding me that I have still have time left and I should answer all the questions, which I will. Now that I've got all my answers, I will complete the exam. And I failed, unfortunately. I got a 44. So that was just because I was just going at random there. So there's my exam completed. I want to thank you for uh, this quick demonstration.